Yeah. He's been switching jobs. Uh, my, Hi. Uh, my collection is uh, inspired from the Mughal architecture and the, one of the best Mughal architecture we have in India is the Taj Mahal. How you see Taj Mahal in the night? So you will see that all the mores, all the artworks, what I've taken it from, is coming from the actual Taj Mahal <coughs> architect. And this is a collection which is a tribute to a woman of exotic beauty, who is, who is very classical in her approach, but yet modern. So you will see the kind of fall leather coming in. It's, it's been blended with the rich Indian weaves, but yet the feel of modernism has come together with the palazzos, what you have seen in the collection, the fall leather, the technology has come in with the laser cut and all. So it's a beautifully technology meets tradition kind of a collection. Thank you. Uh, moving to Neha, Neha would like to say a few words about what you're wearing today in her. First of all, I would like to congratulate each one of you. Lovely collections, all of them. And uh, especially for Prem, when he told me that this collection is inspired from the Taj Mahal. So I was like, after Sunona Sangye Marmar, again, there's another thing which reminds me of the Taj Mahal. I was super excited. Um, obviously, I'm very, very nervous while walking the ramp. That's always there. So um, it was uh, a mixed feeling of excitement and nerves. And it was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Neha. Moving to Amal Raj. Amal, would you like to say a few words about the collection and what the inspiration was? The collection is called Urban Newton. Uh, I'm doing a show in Latin after two years. So it was quite a pressure on me to give up a good show. So it's about environment. It's the future, what's going to happen. Like too much of pollution happening in the country. So people are going to wear masks in the future. So the mask that I've used over here is because to represent that. And the entire collection is mainly mostly out of khadi. There's a lot of protective wear, so you can see a lot of leather patches in your elbow, knee. So it's more of a protective wear because the future is going to be very harsh on us because of the pollution is going to happen. So it's all about the pollution. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Moving to you, which well, would you like to talk about your line after Agni and also what has been the inspiration today? Yes. So uh, <coughs> the collection is called See the Line. Actually, this is a kind of progression in my previous one, which is called Half Length. So uh, it mostly started with black, and this time I wanted to go with ease and you know, feel that situation of farm and farmer life go towards. You know, but I feel everything is going back now. It was in the future, I think we are all have achieved everything, you know, science, everything. Now we're going back, and I we need the basics of life. And now I, through that, although I thought back was always easy and classic, but after working on it, I realized that it's huge and strong and mighty. So yeah, and I surrendered to the mind of it. And I had to break it through in different colors also. And uh, yeah, and keeping these uh, basics intact, like using the raw khadi and uh, pure cottons and you know the raw feel of it, with the sheen of breaking in the metal sheen of leathers, it worked quite well. Thank you, Ajwal. Uh, we are now open to uh, questions. Anyone would like to ask questions? Thank you. <laughs> Great. Yes. Yeah, so it signifies that it could be related to somewhere in the north or Afghanistan or something where of course lighter colors, but heavier clothes are there. But uh, the texture and the uh, way of it uh, look like the mount clothes. So there are, uh, I won't say mount clothes, but yeah, they are related to this. Not in our symbolic, it's not visual. But though, I did some campaign in the uh, plains and the desert areas, which quite represent the same philosophy as mine. And I'm always influenced by the nature, right? Like on first collection, I've been doing more of Gandhi stuff, and you know, I'm towards that uh, direction. And that's how it was. I told you, it's kind of a progression towards my from my previous one. Sorry. Uh, right, sir, you started the marathon on the ramp, so that was nice. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> and you should have been a show starter and a stopper because you really started the show when you came on. And it was great. Can I just tell you, you have a sense of humor rocking. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but as you depicted the uh, Taj Mahal, it has a serene atmosphere and all that. But you did devise that uh, it could be the other way around too. When the Taj Mahal is there, you could run for it and be happy. Yeah, you know, it, anything that's so stunning brings joy to everyone. I think you can hear me. Uh, so I just feel that, uh, you know, something that's so beautiful and so lovely, and it's a monument of love, so let's celebrate it. So we were kind of celebrating it. 
a very good lesson about it. Yes. That's what people should do. Yes. Uh, yes. A designer sometimes back has depicted uh, some, some of the designers have. And uh, uh, of course, uh, they had different conversations also at keeping the uh, uh, mouth shut on. That was there also. But uh, if you have that in mind, it's like, you know, letting us know that uh, the room is very near. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. down. But uh, it was good. It was accepted. And I hope it doesn't happen. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Thank you. We now have. You know what I call it? I call it uh, a bundle of nerves because honestly, as an actor, it's very... Are we waiting for something? As an actor, it's quite different to walk the ramp. So I was very excited. So that's why the ramp walk, you can call it different. Was it difficult to give a new makeover to me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, as she said, I mean, that her song of that Sununa Sangmar is one of my favorite. I, I even heard the Bengali version of it. I even listened to that one. So, I mean, I could easily relate with her. So, that a beautiful woman, as I said, that my collection is a, a ex tribute to a woman who is exotic beauty, have a classical approach, but yet have a modern approach to her lifestyle. So, I fit her exactly the best. So it was a wonderful thing for me to take her and got a Bihari connection for her. <laughs> She's from my home state. So it was wonderful to connect with her and get her in my collection. It looked wonderful. Uh, being a Bollywood seller, how will you define fashion in Bollywood specifically? For me, fashion is uh, wearing clothes that you're comfortable with. I can't really wear anything that I don't feel comfortable in. So when he you know, showed me his collection, I just felt that this outfit was something that I could wear off the ramp and feel comfy and not feel conscious so that's fashion for me being uh, you know like with the trend but not going out of your way wearing something which you're not comfortable in Would you like to comment anything on the clothes? they're all my babies I, I love all of them that's the, that's all i can say great thank, thank you thank you, thank you.